Hello, and welcome to Cooking with the Chef. I am Chef Giordano. I am Italian. So, you know, I know how to cook good. I owned my restaurant in Little Italy for many years. And last week, a man came in and said to me, Chef, you must be on the TV. We give you much money in a cooking show. The chef would like to use this opportunity to teach you how to cook like me. And I also want to help you. You can write to the chef on the Twitter. The chef is the loving the tweeter. I tweet much. The chef has already gotten many tweets from you, and I will answer them at the end of the show. But first, we make it a magic in the kitchen, yes? Oh, yes. Today, I tell you how to make the carbonara. Carbonara is usually spaghetti, but also can be made with the fettuccine, rigatoni, or bucatini. And if you don't know what any of those are, I tell you to screw. I like it to use the chicken with my carbonara because chef wife won't let him use the pork. The wife is uncomfortable with anything to do with the pork. <laughs> we fry the chicken in the olive oil, then drop the pasta into the pan. The chef does not write down his measurements, so I pinch the salt and the toss in the pan. Mix in the eggs, the cheese, and the butter, then combine with the hot pasta. Americans tend to put peas and other disgusting things into their carbonara. The chef does not condone such things, but you may do as you wish. I'm not going to eat it. If you did it right, you have some very nice carbonara. Enjoy with a nice loaf of bread. I used to make this dish in the afternoon and sit outside of a small home in Italy. I had a lovely view of the vineyard. <sighs> ah, well, now we must eat before we eat. <laughs> You have many questions, and I am a chef who has many answers. From Michelle, I cut out little hot cookies for my daughter's preschool class. I forgot that the dough spreads when it bakes. They came out of the oven rounded into little butt shapes. What do I do, chef? Dear Michelle, you have a classic problema. My advice is to buy your little girl some cookies from the store, or you will risk being brought up on charges having kids eat those cookies. Look into your phone book for an adult bakery and sell them cheap. Or give them to your husband. He might want to eat that butt. <laughs> this tweet is from Gina. Chef, help me. How do you know when tomatoes are charred enough? Dear Gina, why are you charring tomatoes? What the recipe is this? Tomatoes should not be charred. You can roast them. And yes, they are very nice. But I can't think of a reason to char them. Maybe you should get out of the kitchen. You might be beyond help. Mamma mia. Our last tweet comes from Hugh. Dear chef, my cookies taste bad. What am I doing wrong? Dear Hugh, chef is not a mind reader, but I am guessing what you are doing wrong is cooking. <laughs> Please remember, you cannot substitute baking soda for flour. Well, that's all for this week. Write to me on the Twitter. Chef Giordano, all one word. I will answer all your questions. Please, come and join the chef next time. Screw!